without a doubt, this is one of the most boring sneak peeks we've gotten. All we got to see was his backside. Anyways, over here on the wall, as you can see, there's the tier 4 for Captain America. He's going back to the basics in his new uniform. Yay! Leave it up to Netmarble and those in charge to actually piss off the player base and ruin one of the most anticipated updates of the year. They had over three years to plan for this Wakanda Forever update and this is what we're getting. Sneak peek number five is here and with that they're letting us know that the next tier four is not going to be Black Panther like we wanted. No, it's actually going to be the living symbol of freedom, Captain America. Mr. I have now 12 uniforms and a tier 4. There's 250 plus characters in the game. There's about 70 or 80 of them that's never seen a uniform. A bunch of them still trapped at tier 2 with tier 4 being a thing. Captain America got a uniform last October, I believe October 5th is when they dropped the sneak peek for the Phoenix Force uniform for Captain America. <sighs> and here we are with him getting another uniform and tier 4. To say I'm annoyed is an understatement. And this is coming from somebody who actually likes Captain America. But ever since I started playing Marvel Future Fight, my disdain for the character has grown exponentially because every opportunity that they get to milk this character that is exactly what they do anyways let's get into it man so the message goes this superhero who has vowed to serve his country returns to his original look so basically captain america is going to go back to basics same with Iron Man. And I knew this was going to happen, right? When we saw Back to the Basics Iron Man, I thought it's only a matter of time before they release another Captain America uniform and they do a tier 4 Captain America. I was shocked that he was not the very first tier 4. Honestly, because he was the first tier 2, the first tier 3, so I was flabbergasted that he was not the first tier 4. Whoever is in charge of these updates, whoever is releasing the tier 4s, they really need to get off Captain America's dick. And people are not happy with this. Check this out, right? This post has only been out about an hour now. And as you can see, the majority of people that's voted, they're mad. And rightfully so. No one cares about, well, it's not that no one cares. It's like, bro, we're good on Captain America. This is 2022. Nobody gives a shit about Captain America. Hashtag fix Hulk. Uh, CEO needs to be changed. They're ruining the game. Another combat. Yeah, you see, the problem that people have is that we now have six combat tier four characters. Almost back to back to back to back. We have one speed tier four in Black Widow. We have two universals in Black Bolt and Thor. We have two blasts in Storm and Iron Man. We have six combat tier four characters now. People would have been okay with Black Panther getting a tier four since it makes sense with Wakanda forever. But Captain America coming in place of Black Panther? I'm sorry, I missed the memo. When did they release? America Forever? I I'm just confused. Is that a movie playing in theaters right now? Because I didn't remember about it. So thank you. Those in charge at Netmarble HQ, I appreciate you reminding us that Captain America is the spotlight for November. It's November 11th. Wakanda Forever is officially out in most countries right now. Black Panther is like the most searched word on Google and YouTube regarding superheroes right now but what do you do you drop a tier four for captain america instead of capitalizing on the popularity of black panther right now now here's the thing they could plan to drop tier four black panther two weeks from now after people have seen the movie and whatnot but that's gonna bring us up to guys seven tier four characters all within the combat category and i don't know about you guys but that's a lot okay coming from somebody who has all of the tier four characters i don't want seven tier 
four combat characters, bro, in such a quick succession because this is setting them up for failure. Because a year from now, they're gonna fall from relevancy because eventually they're gonna have to take a break from all of these combat characters and start releasing speed, universal, blast, etc. And what's gonna happen? These guys are all gonna fall out of the meta because they got tier four so early. And we know how mobile games work. Power creep, power creep, and more power creep. The newest tier four always has to be a little bit stronger either offensively or defensively than the ones that came before so i don't understand why they see the need to release all of these combat characters back to back to back well here's the thing i kind of understand what they're doing but it's not for the players it's just so they can sell packs right they want to sell the tier 4 packs and they also want to sell the packs in the store the super tier 4 upgrade pack that has the ticket to give you the potential and then the books because they figure if they release a bunch of combat tier 4s back to back then you won't have enough time to farm for the books so you will buy the book pack which is like 60 bucks plus tax or so like 80 90 bucks depending on where you are and then you spend 150 on the tier 4 packs because they're not dropping tier 4 materials in other game modes and they're making sure that they only give you enough to do one when they're dropping two every month it, it's just mental what these guys are doing man like seriously i don't know about you guys but this guy having so many uniforms especially when this one was still really good just doesn't make sense to me sure it was not at the top of the game anymore but for a tier 3 character captain america in this phoenix force uniform was still plenty good and i don't know about you but i was personally still using hydra supreme because it's a really good striker uniform because in this uniform he has the cosmic cube so he gives you a little bit of extra damage when you use him as a striker so he still has two uniforms that are relevant i don't see why he needs a third one it just doesn't make sense to me and for any of you guys who are running this guy with a ctp of judgment because in this uniform he's elemental guess what just like i told you guys a year ago you're now gonna have to change him over to a CTP of energy or a CTP of rage because more than likely, he's not going to be elemental anymore. Surprised? I'm not. It's actually kind of wild that they're releasing tier four Captain America and a new uniform right now. I'm just kind of mad, man. At least, just listen, there's a couple of things they're gonna have to do to sell this uniform for players because people are gonna be really annoyed about not getting tier four Black Panther when Black Panther is so bad. This is his month, his time to shine. Yes, I don't give a shit if he's in the movie or if he's dead. The movie's called Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Anyone with half a brain would figure, okay, it's a good time to give Black Panther a good upgrade. So people who watch the movie can come to the game and check him out. Honestly, I just don't understand what these dummies are thinking, man. But anyways, back to Cap. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of this heroic charge BS tap hole. Uh, listen, in this uniform, it's the best it's ever been, but I need it to go. You know what I'm saying? If they're gonna sell me in another Captain America uniform, I would like this to go. Additionally, I would like him to be more proc friendly. This one, pretty proc friendly but it's not perfect additionally a bigger heal 25 percent is good lately they're not trying to go up to 30 percent but we saw them give iron man 35 so captain america the way how y'all are dick riding him y'all probably should give him 35 as well in addition to that y'all might as well give this guy iframe ignore counter attack and make him a pvp character why don't you because at this point he's now going to be competing with moon knight and venom directly since they're all human combat superheroes because he's going back to basic so there's no way he's going to be a villain but even if you make him a pvp character he's still going to have stiff competition with carnage and hulk because these two are absolutely monstrous in pvp so i don't know how they're going to justify 
tier four Captain America because the only stage I think you need Captain America for is like stage 85 against Mephisto. Let me show you guys. Um, and that's because a lot of y'all didn't pick up Storm. So 85 to 89 is command. And right here, you only can use Storm and you have Captain America now if he gets a tier four. On the plus side, here's the thing. I'll give you guys the, one of the pros, okay? Since this uniform is still really good, most of you guys picked it up last year. If he gets a tier four and he's a dud, or even if he's not a dud, if he's not the stud, if he doesn't become like top three uh, out of the, the six that we now have, you leave him at level 72 or level 80, you play him in this uniform, and he's significantly stronger just because he can get to level 80. So we'll see what these guys do. If they drop the ball, botch it, and then they release a tier four Captain America and nobody tier fours him, that will send a real big message to them. You know what I'm saying? If they mess up, if they mess up, if they don't mess up, listen, it's up to you guys. If he becomes like the de facto number one PVE combat character, we'll see, okay? They have to have a plan. If the plan is to not give Black Panther tier four, in a Black Panther update, they gotta have a plan, right? Cause we were thinking, okay, Shadow Shell may be tier four, you know, even if people don't really care about her like that, but at least Shadow Shell is universal as opposed to Captain America, who is another combat. I'm not even gonna find Shadow Shell, bro. She's somewhere there. You guys get the point. It's just really annoying seeing Captain America get so many uniforms. Like if they had given him tier four without a uniform, Come on, they're going, you think they're going, they're not going to do that. But my point is like the extra uniform for him is just so unnecessary. Anyways, you guys leave me your thoughts in the comments, man. I know y'all probably don't want to hear me complain about Captain America because some of you guys are super fanboys. And listen, I'm not saying this out of a place of hate for Captain America. Like I said before, I like Captain America. I really do. It's just that there's so many other characters in the game that's never even seen their first uniform. For this guy to be on uniform number 12, Getting a tier four, it's just kind of crazy, man. He could have sit on the bench or sat on the bench for another like year, in my opinion. 